Hey guys, today's topic is density. Density is the amount of mass in a given volume. And we're gonna learn about density today by doing a fun experiment called float or sink. Behind me is a tank of water. And you can see that there's a water level there. And the density of water is always 1.0, 1.0 gram per milliliter, 1.0. So if we start placing objects in the water, we can learn about the density. If an object happens to sink, then its density is greater than one. And if an object happens to float, then its density would be less than one. Now to calculate the density, we would use the equation mass over volume, and we can do that too, but that's more for down the, for down the line. That's, that's the next lesson. For today, we're simply trying to see whether an object floats or sinks, and that'll tell us whether the density is greater than one or less than one. All right, so we have a bunch of objects. Let's get after it. Be alert and proceed with caution. Okay. We're gonna start with two soda cans. Here we have regular Coke, Diet Coke. We're gonna see which one floats and which one sinks. Okay, you can see Diet Coke floats, density is less than one. Okay, regular Coke, it's starting to float a little bit, there's a little air bubble there. There we go, get rid of the air bubble. Regular Coke sinks because it's weighed down by the sugar. Uh, it has, each can has 39 grams of sugar. That is a lot of sugar. Sugar density is 1.6, and that weighs down the soda. So regular Coke, greater than one. Diet Coke, less than one. All right, next object. Here we have a homie, a homie. Little toy figurine, a homie. The homie sinks in water, density greater than one. Next, we have a rock, a rock. The rock floats. That's because it's actually pumice, which has a lot of air in it. So that's the, not your ordinary rock. All right, moving on. A bowling ball, a bowling ball. This is a 12 pound bowling ball. Float or sink? Make a prediction, float or sink? A heavy bowling ball. Bowling balls actually float. The density is less than one. Even though it, it, it's heavy, it's got a big mass, it also has a big volume. So because it has a big volume, that makes the density less than one. Less than one. All right, here's something else. Here I have a brand new um, iPhone 13. What does an iPhone 13 do? Okay, the iPhone, the iPhone 13 sinks, density greater than one. Don't worry, it's waterproof, it's waterproof. Take it out. Okay. Okay, good thing this is waterproof. Density greater than one. Okay, so there you have it. That's a fun little demo called float or sink, very easy to do. Um, the next step will be then to calculate the actual densities of the substances. So if we take the soda can, you put it on a metric scale, and it turns out to be like 384 grams, 384. And then you open it up and measure the volume in a graduated cylinder. It turns out to be about 355 milliliters. So to actually take the volume, you take um, 384 divided by 355, you get like 1.08. So it's just over one, and that explains why this can sinks very slow, because it's barely over one. It's very, very close. So fun little demo to introduce the concept of density. So thank you for watching. I'll see you back here in a couple more days with some more science videos. Peace.